joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to WashingtonEnvironmental.com, our new website, in which we're going to be taking volunteers out on our little boat, the Intense. Now, this is not just any kind of boat. This is a twin hull Sorensen. Have stainless steel strips that protect the hull when we're amongst these pilings, removing derelict gear out of the river systems and in the waters of the Northwest. Many times I'll have the tribal council elders on the boat <laughs> helping remove these lost gill nets that everyone we call now ghost nets. <laughs> and that's my job, to get these out of the habitat. Nothing worse than waking up in the morning, watching a beautiful sunrise, only to discover a bird hanging upside down in the early morning hours. And you can't get to him because the tide is so low you have to wait, and then this poor bird is caught in a ghost net hanging by one foot. Finally, as the tide comes up higher, I'm able to reach out with a knife <laughs> and cut him free. This is what I mean. Wow. Until next time, I'm on the waters of the Northwest, reminding you, be safe, watch your weather conditions, look to the sky, in an upcoming YouTube, we're going to be talking about the sky. Sky chem spray, sky spray, chem spray, what is happening with our environment, and what is our government doing spraying chemicals into the sky? Maybe they're leaching into our seafloor, causing this blackout. I don't know. Mm -hmm.